It was a day to show we remember. A thousand people attended the local Remembrance Day ceremonies at the Civic Center and the Cenotaph. The solemn event honored the more than 110,000 Canadian Forces members who have perished while serving their country. The 11th day of the 11th month first marked Remembrance Day in 1918. Yesterday morning, hundreds of locals from all generations continued that tradition, piling into the Civic Centre to pay their respects. It's wonderful because that's what we're about, we're about remembrance. So if we have young people there with the old people, it's, it's just wonderful. An hour-long service paid tribute to those who served valiantly and paid the ultimate price to protect Canada and its values. It's Primarily the day is to remember those who have fallen and when I saw some of the faces that were projected up in the community centre, uh, it reminded me of individuals. I, I was a bit shocked at myself. There was one person who was a friend of mine I, and his name hadn't flashed or his face hadn't flashed from me until I saw it again because I was thinking of a couple others who I'd served more closely with when they were killed. Outside of the Civic Centre were 150 flags, each with a name. They represent 158 Canadian Forces members who've died serving in Afghanistan. Well, I feel very humbled, very honoured, because that, that's people who gave their lives for us, for this country and the freedoms that we have right now, just to, to get it together, and for our future, for our kids and our grandchildren, and for the people over there, and uh, they gave their all. Following the ceremonies, a parade led by the Prince George Legion Pipe Band marched to the Cenotaph. The gesture honours those who served, who didn't return, and those who continue to serve in the Canadian forces around the world. Well, it's very precious to us. For example, this year the Spruce Kings wanted to take part. So you'll notice that the Spruce Kings were marching with our veterans. So they were honoured, and we were very honoured. The services continued at the Cenotaph. The crowd stayed silent for two minutes to reflect on sacrifices made in conflict. Wreaths were placed on the Cenotaph by various organizations. This year's ceremonies also marked the year of the Korean War veteran, as the armistice in the war was signed 60 years ago. We don't have a lot of Korean vets ourselves, but certainly they're, they're, they're part of our celebration. Like one of our Korean vets was on our color party today carrying, carrying one of the flags. So we appreciate them all year, and uh, but there's only maybe one or two that we're aware of in Prince George. This year's Remembrance Day has now passed, but the legacy left by those who fought and served remains in Canada year-round.